if there's someone in this town that doesn't know me personally, they know somebody in my family or someone that's, that's pretty close to me, and that, that's how it is. And, and the, the best thing about it is that you really don't meet any strangers. I would characterize the people here in Winston as very personable. What I love so much about it is that you really build friendships. You know, all the guys that I've played with since I was five and six years old, I still know them. My granddad's service station is it's right here in Winston-Salem. That's where I went every day for every summer my entire childhood, up until my grandfather passed away. He's out there pumping gas in the hot sun, changing oil, rotating tires. It also let me know that I had to work for everything. Nothing was ever going to be given to me. That helps me nowadays in, in, in my way of life. Yeah, we only two years apart. He was always trying to fight me to prove that he, he could hold his own. So it was kind of funny growing up. Once we finished our homework and our chores and stuff, we had a court at our house. We never had any type of excuse to say we couldn't play basketball. We play one-on-one, -on -one, see how that worked out, and then we play me and him on the same team versus two imaginary people. I'm very fortunate to have you know, great teachers who never let me get by, you know, and I never wanted it that way. That's when I really you know, started to evolve into the person that I am and the basketball player. I am. These people hold him in very high regard, not just as a basketball player. Chris Paul is very important to them, and I think that's because of who he is as a person. This is a city that made me who I am. It helped me understand, you know, life, people, what it really means to have a hometown.